Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in this session we are going to discuss architecture of expert systems in AI. Under this architecture we have so many layers and so many components and we will discuss all those components in detail with some examples. So now let's just start the discussion. So at four students you can see here in the expert system architecture it is basically a layered approach where we have total six layers. And these six layers are basically uh, working internally like this. At first, we have a non-expert user or we can say a simple user who want any recommendation or who want any advice from the expert system. Correct? Then we have a user interface. User interface basically is the part of system that directly interacts with the user where any non-expert user writes their query that is called user interface part. User interface part is directly connected with inference engine. Inference engine students is nothing but it is we can say the thinking part of your expert system where all the logics all the rules are analyzed to get proper information. Another we have is knowledge base. Another we have is knowledge base. Knowledge base is a place where all the facts and all the rules are provided by an expert user. All clear? So this is the basic information about the architecture of expert system. Now before moving to the detailed information about these components, I would like to share with you some steps that how does expert systems internally work. So at first we have one non-expert user, a general user who want any kind of advice from the system. That non-expert user enters their queries in the user interface. They enters a question into the user interface. As we have discussed, user interface is directly connected to inference engine. The inference engine looks at the knowledge base. Inference engine looks at the knowledge base to find an answer that is already mentioned by the expert user that is human. The system applies rules and logic to make a decision. This system applies rules and logic to make a decision. It then shares the decision with inference engine and the working protocol of inference engine is that it always shares the result with user interface so that non-expert user will be able to see the advice shared by the expert user. Is that clear? So at first we have user that is a normal user who does not have any expert knowledge, who does not have any idea about some particular thing and that particular non-expert user is here in your system to get some recommendations to get some advices from the expert systems. They ask a question or query to the expert system. This is the first component. Another component is your user interface. This is, I have already discussed, this is the part of system that interacts with the user and it takes input. Input means it takes queries from the user and shows the output that is shows the advice from the system to the non-expert user. It can be any chatbot, it can be any online form, it can be any software application. Another we have is inference engine. So the thinking part of the expert system is called inference engine. It applies logic rules to analyze the information in the knowledge base. Whatever knowledge we have stored in the knowledge base, it is the responsibility of inference engine to uh, analyze that information before sharing to user interface part, correct? Basically, we have two reasoning methods here that is forward chaining and backward chaining that is not important at this point, right? The fourth component, this is the third component, fourth component is knowledge base. It stores all the facts and rules provided by expert users. It contains basically the expert level knowledge about a specific subject or domain. The fifth component we have is 
expert user that is knowledge source expert user is also called a knowledge source a human expert who provides knowledge to the system who is responsible to store any information into the knowledge base is called the expert user their knowledge is added to the knowledge base to improve decision making i hope students everything is clear till now if you have any doubt you can comment below and if you want me to continue the series then surely share your feedback another component we have is the advice advice is also called the output of the system the expert system processes the query and gives advice based on stored knowledge the user gets a response that helps in decision making right so i hope students everything that i have shared with you is clear to you if you have any kind of doubt surely you can share in the comment section so now let's just end the session thank you so much everyone and all the very best